Hello, welcome to OS Engine Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join XBuild table with uh, Google's Engine using only one line of code. First, let's go to uh, gmap.org to download the uh, novel example uh, we're going to use for this uh, uh, tutorial. And uh, on the left side, click Notebooks and scroll down all the way to the end. Find number 97, join table. Then upper right corner, click the download icon to download the notebook to your computer and then you can open using uh, anaconda so i'm just going to conda activate uh, geo and then jupyter lab hit enter it should open uh, the notebook in your browser and then we can start going through uh, the source code so on the left side double click um, to open the notebook and as you can see this is a, a very simple example and uh, Essentially, we are going to join uh, vector data from your local computer to Google Earth Engine Feature Collection. And um, so basically from local to the cloud. And so first, let's import the library. And then we are going to add a uh, uh, feature collection to the map. So we create a map. And uh, in this example, we're going to use the uh, country's uh, swift file. Uh, not swift file, basically um, a feature collection in the Earth Engine um, cloud. And so once it's added to the map, you can see from here, um, if you want to evaluate the uh, polygon, for example, the attribute table, you can click the inspector and then click your mouse on the map. It should um, display the attribute table. No, the attribute table, basically the properties, the attributes uh, of each uh, uh, geometry. So if you, if you click, for example, Mexico, it's going to show you the ID and the name. So what we are trying to do here in this notebook is to join some data from your local computer, for example, CSV, or it can be also be data in the cloud, but those basically the data not, um, not in the Earth Engine cloud. So we are trying to join them together. Keep in mind, this is a cloud object, and we are trying to join local objects um, because cloud object is very different from local. So we are trying to basically uh, join them and you can convert them to uh, Google Earth Engine uh, cloud object. So next, uh, let's try to display the XB table because you can click your mouse uh, to display uh, the XB value. But uh, if you want to show them all at once, you can use the GMAP function EE to DF, basically Earth Engine to uh, paint that uh, data frame. And then you can see the entire XB table. So as you can see, uh, this one has uh, 179 rows and two columns. So the name and also the ID. Um, Next, I'm going to show you what other data we're trying to join. So in this case, we are trying to join a geojson. So if you if you define the URL, uh, the data, so this one can be the URL to uh, HTTP URL, or it can be a file pass, so it can be a, a file on your local computer. Once you have the data, then we can use this function to actually uh, EE join table to join the local data to the Earth Engine Freezer Collection. Uh, but in here, uh, we need to uh, figure out, for example, uh, what's the unique ID, right? So if you want, you can go to the URL, uh, trying to see uh, what's the date. You can also download this one to your computer. So if you look at this one, uh, this is a GeoJSON. So it's a feature collection and it has properties. So you can see uh, for each feature, it has the name, it has the population. Um, it also, uh, the most important is this one. ISOS3. So this is the unique ID as uh, three character uh, string representing each country. So uh, what we're trying to do here is to use this column as the key to join the two uh, data set. So uh, ISOS3 and let's come back to here. Uh, this is exactly what we are trying to do, right? So if you want to see the uh, documentation, uh, put your mouse inside uh, the parentheses and then Press uh, Shift Tab, and you bring up the documentation. So here shows you, for example, the first one is uh, E object. Uh, basically, it's the country feature collection uh, from Google's engine, and then the second one is the data. So this one can be uh, STR, basically a string, and for example, uh, a, a local file pass or uh, HTTP URL. It can also be a pandas uh, data frame. or oh, there's a typo in here. Uh, also geo pandas uh, data frame so this is what the second one is what we're trying to join to the first one and the third parameter is the key um, the src basically the source 
So it will be the key of the Earth Engine dataset. And the last one is the destination key uh, is the, the second one. So the key uh, from the second dataset. As you can see, right, we have the ID um, because this is a three a unique ID as three characters. And um, the second dataset, we use the ISO3. That's it. And so you just need to uh, use this function and the result will be a feature collection. So uh, just execute. Uh, it only takes less than one second. Once you have these uh, results, then you can use the EE to TF again. Uh, th right now, this one becomes a first engine feature collection and you can just simply display the attribute table. Okay, so now we have this one. As you can see earlier, we have this one here, uh, the ID column and also the name. This one is the original uh, Earth Engine Feature Collection. And now we have joined the uh, attribute from the GeoJSON and joined to this one. Uh, but keep in mind, you, because for the ID, if you don't have an ID, uh, a negative 99, this one is going to just um, uh, get, the, just you'll be the same because we don't have the data. Um, the the second data set has this ID negative 99 and it's going just to use the same one uh, from the second data set. But if it is a unique ID, you should be able to see, for example, here, uh, join the attribute table from the second data set to the Earth Engine uh, feature collection, right? And so after that, uh, you can actually download this one. Uh, if you want to download the data, you can use a e export vector to export this one to your local computer, or you can also export uh, to your Google Drive, right? And after that, if you want, you can also add the data back to the map. So I can just execute this one. And if you go back here, now we have two uh, data layers. Um, so if you see this first one, second one, and now if you click your mouse on the map, it should be able to query. So um, these two data set, the geometry um, is the same, but the attribute now we have additional attribute that you can uh, use. All right. So this is how you can uh, join the attribute table easy from any local data set. So it can be any any data set supported by uh, GeoPandas. So if you, uh, it, it can be a GeoJSON, it can be a Swift file, it can be a Panda uh, data frame, it can be a Geo data frame. And so any vector data set uh, supported by uh, GeoPandas, uh, you can join the data table uh, to the map. So it can also be a CSV, right? So you can open a CSV uh, if you already have the data from a CSV. Uh, and then you should be able to open this one and join to the uh, Earth Engine uh, visual collection. All right, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you um, find it useful, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.